Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, a couple of uh, red wines here um, from opposite hemispheres, but with the same grape at their heart, Tempranillo. Um, so there is a Rioja and there is a Tempranillo from South Australia. So um, I'll do the Rioja first, which is uh, um, Jeroboam's own label Rioja, um, made by, for them by Marques de Reynosa, and it's a Reserva 2013. So Reserva means that it's been at least a, a year in oak, and at least a year in barrel and has to be a minimum of three years old before it can be released. So let's see what this is like. Well 2013 wasn't the uh, the greatest vintage that they've had in Rioja recently but um, I smell this and there is a slight earthy greenness about it. Now you don't get that in the uh, uh, in the good vintages but you do get the classic Rioja or certainly the Reserva style of Rioja uh, a little bit of um, uh, the vanilla edge of oak slight coconut um, and a touch of orange peel along with the uh, with, with the red berries and plum it feels like a wine that's going to be uh, genuinely medium bodied hopefully medium bodied and full flavored let's just let's see whether it is yeah there's that slight sappy edge to the fruit but overall satisfying juicy rounded um, the oaks giving us oh ever so slightly smoky touch of sawdust to it um, but um, I think as the, as the wine warms up, it's only just been opened and it's been in a reasonably cool cellar, I think that the, uh, uh, the structure will remain there, whereas the fruit flavours will just rise and uh, envelop any of the, that, that greenness. As it is at the moment, it's, it's looking pretty, pretty nice, actually. I'm going to have a uh, finish this bit off. It says on the back, crying out for roast lamb. I can't hear it crying, but I taste it crying. It feels like it's shedding tears lamb tears um pretty nice wine let's try wine number two so this is all the way from australia uh made by uh they said bottled by rafa vineyards nothing to do with rafa benitez um it's from um the, with the yolumba organization and uh I don't, I don't know whether there's a separate rafa is a separate winery but um um there's uh, they, they, Oxford Landing is part of the the, the same group, and uh, oh, there's an Oxford Landing Tempranillo that that's uh, that's pretty good. Something called like Marty's Vineyard or something like that. Anyway, this just says Tempranillo, um, South Australia, 2014. So uh, six months younger than the uh, uh, than the Rioja. Let's see how it's faring. So I don't know if you can see the colour of it against my lurid blue uh, blue jumper, but it's not an intensely uh, coloured wine. Tempranillo, some, some uh, Tempranillo in, in parts of Spain has lots and lots of depth of colour, um, but here uh, in South Australia I, I don't think they'll struggle to get colour into, uh, into their grapes, but it looks like they've done um, a gentle extraction on it. It also smells that way, it doesn't feel like they've tried to force these grapes to give uh, uh, as much flavour as possible. In the process they've uh, done a nice gentle um, ever so slightly smoky cherry and, uh, and and red berry style of wine, and um, it smells maybe not as um, maybe not as complex as the as the Rioja, but uh, um, it, it it still smells like I want to have a drink. Soft, juicy, a bit of a hint of toffee, some South Australian mint character coming in there, and um, yes, it feel, the, the finish feels um, less fresh more and it, it, not, not lacking it's not unfresh but to the Rioja was quite perky and fresh here it feels juicier rounder um I prefer the Rioja uh, but I think that this uh, is a 13 half percent compared with 14 percent on the Rioja it's funny it feel it feels it feels like the rounder richer wine um and uh, but what I like about it is that they've not, it, it, people are expecting something that uh, is going to be like a big beefy Shiraz as they used to be, unreconstructed. It's not, it's a, it's a lighter, gentler, um, it's still generous in flavour, uh, but it's not trying to buffet you into submission. It's trying to go, hey, well, go on, have a, have a, try me, try me, try something different. And Australia's doing... Um, Pretty good things now with uh, varieties that um, once upon a time you didn't associate with the country. So I've, I've been tasting quite a bit of Tempranillo. I've also been tasting a load of Italian grapes. So uh, uh, maybe if you're very lucky, there might be some of those coming up on forthcoming videos. As it is at the moment, um, yeah, I prefer the Rioja, but in Rioja they've had a few uh, uh, a few years 
uh, advanced, um, uh, yeah, extra experience compared with how, what, what they have in, in South Australia. Uh, for, for work in progress, it's pretty tasty work in progress. See you soon.